ladies, gentlemen, and whoever or one of you identifiers, welcome to the fridge that is the Shed of Dread, and welcome to another video. Right then, article time, so it's going to be old time for the old goggles. So from old, good old screen rant, so this should be interesting, but in any case, let's crack on. Doctor Who's Shooty Gatwan reveals his preparation for the 15th Doctor. The Doctor Who actor Shooty Gatwan reveals what he did to prepare for his upcoming role as the 15th Doctor and what the casting means to him. It'll be interesting to see. Doctor Who star Shooty Gatwan has revealed how he prepared for his prestigious upcoming role as the 15th Doctor. In September, Gatwan was revealed, uh, unveiled as Jodie Whittaker's successor, although this has since been upended in the shock turn of events as her 13th Doctor regenerated into David Tennant instead. Again, why is it a shock? Uh, if you've been paying attention, you wouldn't be surprised at all, which kind of shows that an awful lot of the people who claim to watch the show or claim to have a vested interest in the show don't. But in any case, let's carry on. Get one has officially been confirmed as the 15th Doctor rather than the previously presumed 14th. We didn't presume that at all. Um, if there was another Doctor in the way, it was interesting to see what they were going to do. There was no presumptions, only those who weren't really paying attention, because of course they weren't expected David Tennant. Hmm, indeed. So there was no presumption there. We'll be taking over from Tennant at the end of 2023, which it will, uh, and in a seasonal episode. Whether that's Christmas Day, one can only hope, although we know they're coming back from then on in. And former showrunner Russell T Davies will also be making a comeback. Yay! Save the show. It's as simple as that. And if you don't believe it, you're an idiot. <clears throat> Any case, <coughs> beginning with the show's three episodes, 60th anniversary in November next next year, which is already being mentioned. Um, TV books for Christmas, you know, the Christmas specials. Uh, if you go to the back of them, Doctor Who's mentioned that it's coming back in 2023, even though it's November next year. That shows the interest level that even the TV magazines are mentioning it already. Remember that 60th, 23rd of November, so it's going to be around about that time. I reckon the next episode will be sort of um, middle of December, and then the last one will be around about Christmas. But that's just what I'm saying. Gatwan recently appeared in an interview in, in the list, having secured the top spot in the list of 100 most important cultural contributors in Scotland in 2022. He spoke about his career up to now, including his breakout role as er Eric Effiong in Sex Education, as well as his upcoming role in Greta Gerwing's Barbie, alongside Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie. Okay, apparently there's a market for that. Having accepted TV's most iconic role, Gatwan seems poised to shoot to start him himself, but remains grounded, being sure to take the work seriously, but not myself seriously. And this is what he said below. It, this is his words, so I'm quoting his words. But it is a true honour. The role is an institution. It means a lot to so many people, including myself. It makes everyone feel seen as well. Okay. Prepping for the role of Doctor and watching all the episodes again. And what? All of the episodes again? All of them? Okay. Russell T. Davis and David Tennant's work. Ah, right. Okay. So not all of them then. Ooh, I'll say that's all. Yeah, put in an extra bit there, mate. I mean, even I haven't watched all of them. Any case, I was overcome, overcome with the need to get the job. I was like, I want to work with Russell. His writing is so clever. Can't disagree with that. And I feel very honoured that he saw something in me that he likes. Mm, I wonder. <clears throat> He's going to take me to the universe around the stars and galaxies. It's just about learning to be really grateful. Nice and humble. Also to take the work seriously, but not take yourself seriously. It's an amazing job that we get to do, but it's just a job. I'm slowly learning how to take it in my stride. And I think those are wise words also, because... Um, People seem to forget that it is their job. They are human beings. Human beings that are flawed and make mistakes. Hmm. Just think about that for a while, will you? So some of you idiots who are throwing shit around at the moment. They are human beings as well. It's their job. They just do a weird job. Gatwan has done his homework, revisiting Davis's episodes to reacquaint himself with the writing style as what the previous doctors have brought to the table, including Tennant, who will be his predecessor. 
So I'm taking that he's watched all of the new who. Impressive. If he's done that, impressive. And also shows, unlike Jodie Whittaker, he actually wants to take the role a little bit seriously instead of just watching a couple of episodes. And if you remember quite rightly, saying it was nothing but an example of the white male gaze. No, I, we still haven't forgotten. I'm glad it's gone, but we haven't forgotten. He is clearly treating the role with care and respect it deserves. Amen. And evidently is already a Doctor Who fan, which will help him bring passion and zeal to the show that so often demands. Gatman will also make history by being the first black man and the second black actor to step in the TARDIS, with the emphasis which emphasises the importance of casting. Do you really need to make it about that? Do you? Because there is no need to make that. I, 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 it stuns me when anybody goes, oh, it's the first this, it's the first that, it's the second this. It's, it, it's not a competition. It also doesn't matter. You know, people moan about diversity and inclusion and, you know, in these sort of things <coughs> and these sort of terms, but then drag it out of that. The ultimate way <coughs> to define uh, diversity and inclusivity is for this to happen and no one mentions it. Because an awful lot of fans haven't mentioned it because we don't care. See, it's always the media and always these left-wing types that need to drag it. Always oh, the first black man. So no one really cares as long as he's good. <clears throat> it's only you lot. You lot are deranged, der <clears throat> harangue and attack those people who, uh, <coughs> excuse me, frogging my throat, who don't accept, you know, you should accept diversity and inclus inclusion. And then when we do accept it, Go, well, yeah, but you do realise it's the first black man, or it's the second black person to step into the... It doesn't matter. No one cares about such things. You want to end racism and this, that and the other. Just stop talking about it. Stop making it about it. And it will be easier. Because you put that, and it depends on... You know, you'll get some flipping deranged racist lunatic, because unfortunately there are people like that out there, of all races, colours and creeds, may I add... We will take that and go, yeah, just don't mention it. I mean, it's not a problem, is it? <sighs> Davis has previously written for two other doctors, Christopher Eckerson's Ninth Doctor and Tennant's Tenth, both of whom were similar in many ways. Both were joyous, fun-loving time lords who did a lot of running, and both had darker sides that sometimes revealed themselves in high-stakes situations. Hmm. Of course, both these incarnations were dealing with the fallout of the extreme guilt of the time war. Which has been result, which has also been resolved in the show's 50th anniversary, will no longer factor into the Doctor's psyche. Mm. You see, <clears throat> it still would, wouldn't it? Because he'd still remember. It's a bit like PTSD. You may carry on with your life and everything's uh, fine, but it's always going to be there. Always going to be there, no matter whether you've resolved it or not. It's always going to be there. And I think, I think that little bit should still be there because at times when it gets to life or death decisions, it will temper his thought process, would it not? And it would be a shame to just dismiss it like that. At the same time, Davis is renowned for his layered characters. So just like 9 and 10, we may also see a Doctor that could be ruthless and vengeful at times. Well, of course, but that should be now tempered with the time war thing shouldn't it? Any case, Gatwan himself is an energetic, high-spirited person, and I must admit, all the interviews I've seen, I'm, I'm warming to him quite nicely. He seems to be a really nice, genuine, decent human being. Do you notice I didn't say black there? Because I didn't need to, because he's just a human. And as soon as everybody else starts acting like that, maybe things will get better. Just saying. And Davis lets, tends to let his actor's personality interpretation direct the direct Doctor's own personality. It will be interesting to see whether the resolution of the Time War storyline will result in more playful, light-hearted Doctor. No, I don't think it should. I should think it should still sit there, as I just said. The Time War and the reintroduction of the Daleks as the show's ultimate foe were devices that Davis utilised to explore the darker facets of the Doctor's personality. Well, yeah. You know, and everybody, every every good hero has their villain. You know, Batman has the Joker, for instance, and neither of them would survive without the other. 
<clears throat> so it's plausible that he could create a similar event for the same purpose. In fact, as, in fact, as of Doctor Who Series 12, Episode 2, Spyfall Part 2, uh, Gallifrey is once again seemingly destroyed, which was never explained. Not once. Nothing. Even at the end of it, it was never explained. I mean, it was never explained whether the universe had repaired itself as half of it had been destroyed in the flux. But, mm, indeed. Time will tell whether Davis will opt to retcon this plot direction or perhaps use it akin to the time war going forward and how Gatwan will choose to play the character. Hmm, be interesting to see. Well, there you go. And that is the end of that article. So, interesting things. Interesting things indeed. We'll have to wait and see, obviously. Um, I must admit, I enjoy, uh, as I said, listening to Shooty. He seems a very a lovely, warm human being, which we'll have to wait and see. It'll be interesting to see how his doctor comes. I can't wait to see how he interacts with his new companion. Remember, that's a companion. Yeah, it's not a fam anymore. And it's stupid. It's a good old-fashioned companion again, as it always has been. Uh, because I quite highly rate Millie Gibson as an actor. Uh, and um, Ruby Sunday. I keep calling it Ruby Tuesday. I do apologise. I keep calling it Ruby because it's a great curry house. Sorry. It, yeah? What do you say? as Ruby Sunday. It should be interesting to see how it goes. I am genuinely cautiously optimistic now. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. And all these things sound right. I mean, he's like, he sounds like he's done his own work. It sounds like he's bothered to interact. It sounds like you're know, getting all the good sound bites. Well, you know, obviously, you know, because of the videos I did previously when it all kicked off, we ran our mouths a bit. But, you know, since then, we've rang that right back. And we're saying all the right things. Even Millie come on and said all the right things. And this is what we need. When the world is at its darkest, we need a ray of light. Hopefully this will be one of them. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a fat bloke freezing his ass off in his shed surrounded by his toys. You let me know what you think. Comment section down below. No, no, no wrong. As you know, I am genuinely interested in how you feel or think about this. Because that's what my chat section's for. The only time I'll do any delight things or get rid of people is if you're just pathetic, childish, racist, etc. But if you're just point making a valid point, that's what it's there for. It's I'm trying to have somewhere where people can engage in a conversation instead of dragging it down to a slinging match and name calling because it's just pathetic and childish. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, you could just give it a thumbs up and like it. And you could even share it. Actually, tell somebody else I've done one. And then maybe they'll enjoy watching it as well. But that's up to you. You know. <coughs> Excuse me. I still haven't got rid of this cough from that when I was not very well. So I do apologize for keep coughing through it. My bad. If you enjoyed everything you see, remember that this is my humble opinion. Okay. It's not me saying how it should be. And how you should think. You've got one of these, apparently. Some of you haven't, but a lot of you have. It's my opinion. If you don't have to agree with it at all, because that's your opinion. And I welcome them, as long as they're not insulting. Now, if you haven't, subscribe. That would be really nice. I'd love subscribers. I'm almost at 250 now. When I was making this video, I was at 249. As I said, uh, my goal would love to, I'd love to break 300 before the new year, pushing it a bit with that one. Uh, I actually want to have like 300 subscribers by the time I've hit a year on here, which is next March, but we'll have to wait and see. There's plenty of things coming. There's plenty of opportunities, things and chats that are coming very, very soon. Um, more variation in what the channel does as well and what it covers because um, there's such, such a lot to talk about. So please subscribe. And if you do, I shall be humbly grateful. I mean, I can't offer you anything, but other than my thanks. And thanks to the 249 recording of this video who have subscribed to my channel. Many, many thanks. It's really genuinely, honestly, I feel it right here. And it's really, really nice. Thank you very much. So with that, and as always, and until the next one, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you for spending a short amount of your very precious time listening to my video and watching my video. And I look forward to hopefully catching you in the next one.